Yeah, it's just gone long 4602, long 4602. It is Monday, the 10th of January, 2022, uh, exactly midday in uh, Chicago. And it has been quite a morning uh, for the E-mini. Let me show you what happened from the open. Uh, we had a little bit of strength on uh, Sunday evening, and then it just kind of gave way into this uh, big downtrend, bang, bang, bang. Um, 1500 tip bar chart. This is what I'm looking to uh, for kind of day trading direction. So as soon as we get big sell-offs like this, the background starts printing red, which means we're oversold, obviously. But uh, we're not going to do anything until we start breaking above the trailing stop for prime with the blue professional bars kind of come in. So seemingly down here, we kind of found, found some support. We had a little bit of a rally uh, forward. And uh, we just came back and tested into this kind of region here. And what uh, got me interested is the lowest time frame we got to kind of signals to go along. So we kind of uh, have a little bit of weakness and then we break into this uh, kind of grab and go type pattern here. Bang, blue professional bar through the uh, trolling stop. We kind of get going, we test again into these lows. So that's what's happening on the higher time frame. Uh, and you can see that syncing up with the 500 tip bar chart here. So. Um, little bit of uh, strength that's that kind of um, pattern to kind of get going here on the 500 tip bar chart so they catch the lows uh, they get interested nothing doing on the downside and they just kind of grab it here to kind of get going exhaustion buy patterns uh, getting the move going and then uh, so for me what I liked was this little retrace and a signal back in uh, sign of strength here and got in at uh, 0 02 so having a bit of a think about it as long as we're above uh, the uh, trailing stops here, that's good. So uh, my stop is down here just below uh, the support level. So for this whole thing to work, these two kind of supports have to hold and we need to kind of keep uh, pushing higher. So I'm looking for long trades because we got in the background on the higher time frame, we got an oversold condition. Uh, we have a little bit of strength and then we have, uh, sorry, a little bit of weakness on, on this time frame after this low is made, a little bit of weakness, and then that strength kind of comes in again. So that's what I like for a setup. We've got strength. Look for uh, kind of long long trades on the highest time frame and then start looking for long trades again on the lowest time frame. And then once we get some signals, looking for some retrace type sign of strength patterns here to go off. So, uh, break even at the moment, uh, and uh, yeah, we've got some time to run before the end of the day. Let's see if uh, we get a little bit of uh, a runner to the upside. Yay, 15 minutes later, and uh, we're continuing the uptrend. Uh, red bar showing uh, we're in an uptrend on the 500 tip bar chart. And a little uh, pair of blue professional bars coming at the highs here at that kind of previous level right there so that for me is a little gathering pattern would be nice to see kind of more than that kind of pop in but uh, we're above the highs of that which is good so that's showing that we might kind of break um, at this point here above the 4610 on the uh, 1500 tip bar chart it's all good kind of showing red bars so don't know where this is going um, but uh, that is a good sign. And a couple of minutes later, some more gathering patterns on the highest time frame here. So a little dig down, and we immediately break above the highs for that. That's good. And that kind of level that we came in there is significant because uh, it was the recent high that we got rejected at. The blue professional bars, the highs, and it was kind of you know, close to an important breakdown level here that we bounced against blue professional bars. So uh, continuing higher and uh, we've got another little sign of strength there. Generated a small little pattern of weakness here but that immediately got bust above on the lowest time frame so not worried about that. So continuing to hold. All right more strength coming in. We just had a stair step signal uh, here blue professional bar right on the uh, support and we just bounce away from that I know it wasn't much of a retrace um, but uh, that's a, a classic little uh, stair step uh, kind of pattern kind of comes in that was the signal that popped up and uh, 
there we go, continuing to rise higher. Now on the higher time frame tip bar chart, the 1500 tip bar chart, you can see we've got exhaustion buys here. Um, hopefully, that means that we're uh, kind of busting out of this and kind of getting the move going. But we did have this one. Um, so, I don't know, as long as the uh, bars continue to be red and we continue to break higher and, and uh, the trailing stop continues to trail up, uh, that's kind of all good. And having a little bit of weakness right now. Um, and cyclically, we're, we're overbought on the 500 tip bar chart. So, yeah, still holding. Um, I think this is going to be good for a little bit more, but we have, might have to sit through a little bit of weakness. And more blue professional bars kind of coming in on little dips and we're pushing higher. So that's the uh, 1500 tip bar chart. Most reversing uh, all of uh, day, day sessions kind of losses uh, soon. And 500 tip bar chart, that little dip again going higher. So I'm nicely up because I was in at uh, 46.02. I'm thinking about putting in a uh, target. When I start to see an exhaustion pattern on the 500 tip bar chart, that's when I will uh, put that in. So we're getting to that kind of blow off type um, activity, I would have thought at some point. So. Let's do that when we uh, when we see an exhaustion pattern just like this blue professional bar up bar. Uh, sorry, a um, uh, blue dot. I'm not particularly interested in blue professional bars at this point, but if we see a blue dot, that'll be good. Well, I'm spending a lot of time here, just uh, pressing into 42s and coming away, coming away. You can see this on the uh, 500 tip bar chart, but all that is doing is loading up the gun. Uh, because when we get through this 42 level, uh, that's when we'll get our kind of exhaustion patterns and blue professional bars kind of coming in. But still holding um, for that push up. I mean, it's all overbought on the 500 tip bar chart. We've had a flush pattern on the 1500, but uh, until we have this uh, trailing stop on the uh, prime kind of come up, trail the blue professional bars up, have exhaustion bars not over. So all of this activity, just pushing down, pushing down, is getting more and more people wrong-footed, uh, going short, and they'll have their stops above 42, and that's what we want to run into before we get that exhaustion pattern. And even more, loading up the gun. So 45 here, 45, 75 on the high, there, and we come off, you know, five or six points. So everybody's uh, rushing to get short here, and they're just going to get taken out on their stops. So now that region's kind of sitting above 46, so maybe 46, 48 kind of region. And uh, the longer we, we do this, the more we build up that pressure um, above those highs. So uh, we had this, this push in, we uh, break to new highs. Uh, we had some more pressure kind of added here, definitely here, definitely here. So um, yeah, just keep on holding. Well, we've gone even further down to 29s, but this exhaustion cell uh, down here. And what we'll have next is a blue professional bar will come in, that'll trail the stop up, and then we'll blast up through 46s. So all the volumes that got short here is going to be taken out uh, above 46 on the exhaustion buy. Uh, overbought on uh, the 1500 tip bar chart, but again, uh, we're above this support up the support so we just have to wait and see when that damage kind of comes in 28 I, mean, I know it's a big retrace it's like 15 plus point retrace but um, it's worth holding out okay here we go these little blue professional bars have kind of on this little dip and uh, they've taken advantage there we go we just got a test up uh, kind of signal They've taken advantage of that uh, weakness and scared a lot of people out. People are thinking, oh, we're in a downtrend, the moving averages are probably kind of uh, flipped and so on. 
And I know, yep, we were overbought and we've come down into this weakness, but we did not see blue professional bars at the highs. We did not see exhaustion patterns up here. So technically we are still in an uptrend. A little bit of weakness there just to, you know, kind of catch some stops and so on. But, you know, we should spend a little bit of time here and this, then immediately kind of bounce above this level, get above the 37 and then uh, get above uh, 46s, uh, kind of up there. Oof. It's coming down a bit. Normally, that reversal is is pretty uh, pretty quick, um, but this uptrend is not done because of those patterns not kind of coming in. So yep, yeah, I'm uh, not taking heat, but I'm off my uh, kind of equity highs uh, on this trade. But uh, I'm uh, playing it for uh, the bigger gain. So another exhaustion sell pattern here again, getting getting rid of a lot of volume, uh, a lot of volume kind of uh, getting wrong footed that needs to be taken out. It just means the pattern will be bigger on the upside. All right, here we go. So we're coming into the close. So it's uh, 2.41. Chicago time, we're coming back up to 41s. The little high that we had here is 45.75. So above there. That's where we're going to see the exhaustion patterns and the blue professional bars kind of come in and taking profits. It's been a long uh, time holding this trade, but I think it's going to be worth it. Bingo, just out at 60.50. As soon as that exhaustion pattern came in, hit my uh, sell at market order out at 60.50. For 58 uh, and a half points, we were in at uh, 46.02 out at 46.60.50 for 6.60.50 uh, and in at midday out on the close just uh, at three o'clock and there we go that was the pattern I was looking for exhaustion buy we had to on the uh, 500 tip watcher we were just loading up the bullets all these exhaustion sell patterns here we did not have blue professional bars at the high up here we do not have an exhaustion buy pattern up here. So all of this profit taking, everybody trying to get short, did not work out for them. We'd loaded up the bullets here. And then as soon as we start breaking through new highs, we had some people were pretty anxious to sell these moves down. These moves were pretty hairy uh, in terms of selling here and here, and then a little bit here and here. Uh, and then as soon as we broke through those uh, kind of new highs above, you know, 40s, eights or something like that, it just ran and ran and ran, and that is popping stops the whole way from all this volume. Got taken out on the way up, up here, bang and bang, into the close. And uh, there we go, a whole bunch of blue professional bars on the 1500 tip pot chart. There we go.